homeless woman told police she was sleeping in the dugout of James Beckham Park on October 20th when a man wearing a hoodie and scarf covering his face woke her, then raped her while holding a butcher knife in his left hand. When he finished, she said he thanked her and that he'd get her if she told police. Through rape kit testing, police say they were able to match 33-year-old Quinn Hale to the rape DNA. Hale pled guilty in 2017 to raping a 16-year-old girl. He's also suspected of raping a 13-year-old girl in a similar park rape case back in September. A girl walking through Indigenous People's Park told police a man grabbed her hair and dragged her into his car, then raped her. The girl saw a kitchen knife in the car and stabbed the man to get away. On Tuesday, police searched his grandparents' home near 15th and Valit and his girlfriend's house near 24th Place and Keefe Avenue. They found multiple items of interest, including gray and black hoodies, condoms, lube, face masks, and a retractable knife. Caroline joins us now from Beckham Park. And Caroline, why was Hale released from custody in the first place? We're still working to learn why detectives released him, especially since his DNA linked him to that rape case here at James Beckham Park behind me. He has now been charged with that rape, and if convicted, he faces up to 66 years in prison.